Hey, this is Demon Driver. Here's the fuselage of my 707 that I'm working on. Uh, this is still a work in progress. This is a 707-120 series from 1958. This is the, um, the short tail version, as you can see. And then we'll walk in here to the hangar and uh, here is my uh, 767 Delta that my scratch build airliner uh, it's the fuselage with the wing behind it. It's also still a work in progress. I mean, these planes just take a long time to build. As you scratch builders know, it's not easy. And then right here is my infamous uh, 111, BAC 111. And here's the wing of the Boeing 707. behind it right there and there's the old e-flight airliner that's a great practice jetliner for anybody who likes to scratch build airliners like me and JB in Switzerland Jason Knoll here in America uh, Nefwafa here in America yeah Nefwafa is a uh, renowned airliner builder and uh, I'm not that bad myself. I'm not saying I'm anything great, but I do enjoy scratch building airliners. So I'm hoping to have these. Uh, 111 has flown, had a test flight, and uh, I gotta reduce the throws in this big elevator here. Gotta cut it down a little bit. It's got plenty of power. These are two um, 75 millimeter ducted fans I got from Electric Jet Factory. They have uh, HET Typhoon engines, and they're Put out about three to four pounds of thrust each, and this plane is heavy. She weighs about maybe uh, six pounds, but she's got about at least a one to one thrust to weight ratio, so that should be enough to get this bird in the air. And it flew without a problem, just way too touchy on the elevator. Gotta tone that back a little bit. So I'm hoping to have the 767 done next. Hoping to have that done next and in the air. It's going to take two 90 millimeter ducted fans. And 707 that you saw is going to have four 70 millimeter ducted fans. That's going to be a heavy bird, but man, she's going to have a lot of thrust. At least 16 pounds of thrust, I'm hoping. So, this is Demon Driver, and uh, this is another thing I do. I buy models of planes, so this may give you a hint as to what may be coming up. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm here to scratch build, and I'm here to give anybody pointers and help. And I'm also here to learn things, so you guys have any ideas for me as to how to, uh, you know, any ideas as to how to build a better scratch built, then give them to me, because I'm always uh, willing to learn. I'm always open to new ideas. So, this is Demon Driver signing out from the Demon Driver hangar, or uh, Demon Driver Insane Asylum, however you want to call it. Yeah, it's Demon Driver, and I forgot, here is my, uh, DC 951 North Central. Uh, I'm running. I'm just running out of room for all these damn planes. So this is uh, sitting in my kitchen here, as you can see. And um, she really doesn't need that much work. Uh, flap put in, aileron, do a little bit of work up here in the stabilizer, in the elevator. Obviously, I have to. I'm going to put the 111s. Uh, power system on this when I'm when I want to fly this or I'll just buy another set from Electric Jet Factory. Those guys are great over there. Uh, Robert at EJF um, they'll answer any questions you have and they'll give you some good information as to uh, you know what you need as power source for your plane, batteries, speed controller and they have a lot of great products so that's I buy from mainly those guys and United Hobbies so I'm hoping to have this plane done uh, or try and take off again with it. My last flight with it was just underpowered. I had really bad 70 millimeter ducted fans I got off eBay. They were terrible. And, um, you know, I know if you guys know about jet airliners and you know about the uh, DC 9, you know, especially the DC 951, man, it's got a short wingspan because 
McDonnell Douglas just kept stretching the fuselage of these airliners to make more money so they could fit more passengers in them. Especially if you look at the DC-8, 62 series and 63. Man, it's like a pencil with wings. But the same thing is true with the DC-9. Especially the DC-9-51. You got a uh, short wingspan, but it's really the normal wingspan for the DC-9. But they just stretched the fuselage up. And then they went beyond that and then went to the 80 series, the DC-980, which became the MD-80. Then here's the bottom, here's the bottom of the uh, DC-951. This is the bottom of the rear fuselage, all chromed out, all pimped out. Here are the uh, engine nacelles, as you can see. Here's the engine nacelle, one of the engine nacelles for the DC-9. This goes over the EDF, you know, and fits up over here. Just uh, plastic bottles painted and taped together. A little bit of uh, fiberglass in here to strengthen it. But that's all there is to it. This isn't stress bearing. This just sits over, this is just an aerodynamic cover over the EDF. So I'm hoping to have this done soon and in the air. So this is Demon Driver signing out from the Demon Driver Aircraft Factory. Take care.